Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to edit a vectorial uh, PDF such as this. This is some OS data that I downloaded um, from Digimap. You may recognize it or something similar to this. And we're going to extract the information that is hidden behind it. And then I'll show you a quick way of how to edit it to select multiple things, either to delete them or to layer them into roads, buildings, such as that. So then you have full control over the line weights and the fills, and it will become a drawing of your own rather than uh, this Digimap or, or what, however you get your survey data or any vectorial PDF. So the first thing to do is to select the borders and release the clipping masks. This may take some doing, there's probably quite a few uh, on here and basically what they are is just a crop uh, to get it onto this page but there is a lot of information behind them. So I'm selecting them and releasing, right click release clipping mask and then reselect it. It's a bit fiddly but it's worth it and deleting them as I go. So this might take quite a few. There you go. So this one compressed this watermark so we can get rid of that and that's gone already. Let's see what else. Just keep going through them. Selecting them, right click, release clipping mask. That's picked up this one here as well. So we've got rid of that border. Let's see. We must be getting close to all this information to underneath. We want to be able to select this border, but we can't yet until we've got rid of these ones. Okay, that's gone. That's good. You can see there's information behind it. This line is being picked up, but we can't edit them yet. So I've selected this border. I can't release the clipping mask there because there isn't one, but here we go. There we go, so that's pulled up all that information that's behind it. Let's keep going. We can get the fills out of here as well. Okay, that's done a bit more. There we go. Okay, so now we're getting into the part where we can select things now, which we weren't able to do beforehand. To multiple select them, and this is a really great trick. When I was studying, I realized a lot of people didn't know this and would either be in Photoshop rubbing them out or selecting them manually, which is just not the way to go. So we're gonna get rid of all this red text here because we don't need this in our drawing. So we're gonna select one and go up to select, same. There's a few options here. For this one, I think it'll be fine just to select appearance. So now we've got them all, we can get rid of them. And we can do the same for this white outline that was around the text, select same appearance. And one more, by the looks of things. Select the same appearance. And that got rid of the fill as well, which I'm not sure why. Okay, we've got that selected. Okay, that's selected the fill as well, which obviously we don't want. So we're gonna try, you see it's got a white uh, stroke color. So we'll go select, same, same stroke color. There you go. And that got rid of that, just the white for us. There might still be a clipping mask somewhere. Not too sure. If there is, we'll find it. It's no problem. This green tree symbol. Ah, we're just able to delete that one. So now let's strip this back and we can start changing the line weights, adding, get rid of the fill colors if we like, and turn this into our own drawing. And this has taken no time at all already using this process you've got complete control over the drawing 
So we're gonna we're, we're gonna take the street names, select same appearance. We've got them all selected. I'm going to go up to edit cut and then make a new layer. Edit paste in place. So now they're on their own layer and we can just turn them off because we want to keep that information. So we can go and get the road fills now by going oh, select same fill color. I'm going to use the shortcut, control X, another new layer, call it road, Ooh. road fill. We might get rid of them, we don't know. Now they're on their own layer too, and we can just turn them off. We can get these building fills now. Select same fill color. Some of them seem to be in a group. same fill color got them all perfect and this was building fill and then paste them in place turn that layer off or the advantages of putting these all in layers is that we can lock them and command a highlight these so we've got the fill color I'm on the building fill layer, fill color, this horrible beige, whatever it is. We can change them all at the same time to however we like. And this is why this process is just, is so good. But I'll generally, if I leave the fills in, I'll do that after I've done the line work. So for now, we'll just keep going and removing the fills that we don't want and what have you. So we can get this green. This might take two, there's two different shades. Fill color. Exit, Command X even. Gonna copy it in. Green. Turn it off. Get this other green. I just did the appearance there, it worked fine. Go back to here, using the shortcut to, for paste in place. Going to hide it. These dash lines, see what we can do to select them all. So this is now a stroke, not a fill. You see the stroke weight. It'll be the same color as this solid line. So let's see what happens when we have appearance. He selected all of them. But I think that's okay. But I think if we maybe went to stroke weight, you know, the thickness of them, or something like that, we might have been able to do that. But I'll put, I'll put in, I'll just keep it like that. And I'll just name that outlines for now. And I'll paste them in place. So I might get rid of these, but we have them here we need them. These green outlines, I'm going to select them all with stroke colour. I'm just going to get rid of them. Still quite a few more. Let's get the building outlines now. So this is a, uh, a stroke, 1.2 point. It's quite thick, so it's its own stroke weight. So we'll go select same stroke weight. And that's an important outline to have on its own layer. Building out lines. And we'll put them in there. As this is just a demo, we'll just do something quickly now. So it's all up to you how you edit your drawings to however you want them to look. So we change the stroke, the building color. We can do that again. 
selecting them all with Command A with all other layers locked, or go up through the same thing. And change the hatch color to something lighter. And then we can go to the building outlines because we've got them all on a layer now. And they're a bit thick for me. So we can control the weight of them. Or if we wanted to, we could add, have them as dash lines, put the dash gap down, anything like that. Loads of control over all this vector artwork now because we used the select same appearance or all the same options to properly strip out the information that we don't want and keep what we do want and that will leave us with the ability to edit this map into your own drawing and how you like. I might just do it quickly and just see what simple line drawing I can quickly get out of it. I might change some hatch textures or, or something like that. But that's the process guys and it is crazy quick to do that for your work. It would take you less than, you know, 15 minutes to have a drawing of your own from your survey data. If you want, if you need that for a quick quickly, there's no point trying to edit it on Photoshop with rubber or magic wands or anything like that. Forget all that. This way we can scale it properly as well. I can't remember what scale this was, but we could select it and then right click, uh, go transform scale. So I think it's one to 100. So blow that up or whatever, 200%. It's now one to 50 drawing, things like that. It's really, really quick powerful way of controlling vector lines in your drawings. I hope you find that useful. I certainly did. I learned that in undergrad and I used it all through studying. I still use it now. It's one of the best techniques I've ever learned for you to make faster, better drawings. This is part of the Illustrator series. I'm putting up loads of tips on Illustrator because it is just such a powerful tool when used properly. For your line works making detailed drawings anything like that if you liked it please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to upload as much as i can work's been pretty busy at the moment but i look forward to doing these um, uh, videos so please subscribe that helps me out a lot all right i hope you found that useful ask me any questions cheers